I'm Mike Cyrus with Christopher Micro Images. Well, in our previous video, we had showed you how to a simplistic uh, off-camera flash. So here today, we're gonna go through it and really show you how to work the whole, how everything works, the light, how I set every the shot up, how everything goes in full detail. That way, when you go out with your light, you, with no question, know exactly how to do it. This is really simple. There's not a lot to it, but you do need to follow these steps in, in exact order. So I have an 8600. Uh, with a, a, um, a newer stand, uh, about 50 bucks. I have an easy lock uh, soft box, um, and it's not a beauty dish, it's just a regular soft box. And this is an extension head that plugs into an 8600. That way all the weight stays on the stand. With all the weight on the stand, this thing isn't gonna blow over. It stays really solid. I don't need anyone to hold the light for me. It's gonna stay real solid and, and, and key. So I have a trigger. On this trigger, it sends a wireless signal to that and fires it. It's real simple. So you zoomed in on there? Okay, so on here, I highlight my light. I can turn it all the way up to full power, or I can go, that's one to one, it's a fraction. I can go to one, 256, it's very little light. So depending on how much light I need, like right now we're at golden hour, the sun is setting real well. So I can run it down really, really low and use very little light and that's all she'll need to, to fill her in. So um, here today, so how I do it is, I turn my flash off. I tell my model, I compose my model. I tell my model to get right where I need. Take one step forward, right there, that's good. Turn your body towards the light a little bit, right towards, towards the, there you go. So I now, once I've got her set, I've got her composed, I now turn the flash off, okay? I take a shot, and the only thing I care about is the background. My background's still a little light, or a little dark, I mean, it's gonna be lighting it up a pinch. Okay, so I'm at 1 800th of a second. I'm at ISO 100 at 1.8. So now I've got the shot, my background is perfect. I now turn my flash on. So now when I turn my flash on, I take a shot. She's a little dark still. So now I get on, the, on my trigger and I just turn it up a little bit. I don't change my shutter at all only the light because the background never changed. I just need to brighten her up. I need to go one more step. I'm at one eighth power on the flash. There you go. Pull your right shoulder to me just a pinch. Right there, three, two, one, got it. Pick your left hand up on your hip. Boom, right there, go for it. Good job. Throw me, throw that dress for me. Give me a good pop of that dress. Boom, good job. That is stunning. Okay, so we're gonna explain the power on the flash. So I've got my background. I wanna keep that you know, f-stop at as wide open as I can. I've got it at 1.8. That way I got the good bokeh. I, you know, I'm, I'm letting as much light as I can, but we've got the, the perfect background. Let's say I set it one to one, which is full power. So I took a picture at one to one. It was very bright. You can see it all over her. It's, it's super bright, it's too much. Then I took it all the way down to one 256. You can see that that is um, too dark. Right, that's not enough light on her. So if I took the power to one eighth power, which is somewhat in the middle, it's a good enough light, it hit her and it, it hit very even and it's smooth lighting. So at no point in time did I change the shutter. When it was too bright, I left the shutter where it was. I just changed the power on the flash. So when it was too uh, low, I didn't raise the shutter, make it go slower to, to where you got more light in there. I left the shutter alone still. At that point when it was too low, I raised the power. So once you set for the background, you no longer mess with the shutter. I can't say it enough, you don't mess with the shutter. At that point, you just use the light. 
let the light fill her in. So the background, the camera does the background, the flash takes care of her. The flash fills, does all the heavy work. It does, it fills in all the light we need. So once you've got that, you compose your model first, then you expose for the background. Once you've got the background correct, then you turn the flash on. If the flash is too bright, obviously just turn it down. This is that simple. If it's not enough, turn it up. Now at this point, let's say you've turned it all the way up and it's not enough power. One trick you can do is either have the model get closer to the light. The closer she is to the light, the light falls off. And the closer she is, so we'll just look at her real quick. I'll run this light up. Um, it's pretty bright. Now go further away. Go about 10 steps over that way. The further she is away, this is still the same full power. It looks like a lot less light on her, right? So the closer she is to the light. So if you're full power and it's not enough light, put her right next to that light. You get her close to that light as you can and it will give you more power. Or if she's in the right spot, push the light closer, right? And it will give you more power. So at just about any point in time with the one light set up, you can just about knock out any photo and make it absolutely perfect. So use these tips, compose her, set for the background, then go in and set your flash, turn it on, and then fine tune. Once you have those tricks, you all can do this. Hey, we do a great job with just one light. Two lights obviously better, right? You can fill in shadows and make things better. But with one light, you all can be professional and do everything right. Hey, Chris from Michael Images, I'm Mike Cyrus, Chris Marshall behind the camera. If you all have any questions, you have anything, please hit us up. You, you got any comments, you love us, you hate us, tell us. We wanna hear, we wanna hear from you. Uh, if there's anything you don't like, do like, we're, we're gonna go in and, and do these videos for you. So these are for you, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. See you on the next video.